The Samsung Galaxy Watch is the first wearable I've owned. In the past, I was apprehensive about owning one because I felt they were too bulky and uncomfortable. Having worn this watch full time for 6 weeks, I'd like to share my thoughts on the watch and if the utility it provides outweighs its downfalls. There aren't too many. First off, this is the 42mm edition, which is the only way you can get it in either rose gold or black. The watch face is perfectly sized for my narrow wrist. Compared to its larger 46mm version, a higher battery capacity is foregone in favor of its smaller design. However, I feel the sizing on this watch compels me to use it every day. I mean, what good is a larger battery and a larger watch if it's too clunky to use every day, right? A full charge lasts me about two days. The silicone strap feels great on your wrist. Although it can be a lint magnet, you don't have to worry about taking it off at the gym or while showering. Compared to cloth or leather straps, it's impervious to smelling like mildew. Included in the box is this wireless charger. Despite its tiny battery, I was disappointed to learn it takes about two hours to fully charge. I like to wear this watch to sleep for its sleep tracking so I have to remember to charge it during the day. Perhaps this is a small price to pay for its 48 continuous hours of biometrics tracking. Uh, what does this smartwatch do? For such a small device, it has a lot of bells and whistles. When I first started using it, I was so excited to learn its capabilities. It was like an extension of my phone, but glued to my wrist and always by my side. I felt wired like a cyborg, Checking notifications, interacting with Bixby, and playing with the spinning bezel, which is so satisfying to use. When the honeymoon period ended, I noticed I've been mainly using the watch for its passive features. To maximize its functionality, you'll need to perpetually pair your phone with this watch via Bluetooth. This means your phone will probably be close by. Having said that, I haven't needed to use the watch for phone calls, messaging, or for Bixby since I prefer to do these on my phone. I also prefer Google Assistant. One thing I like is that you can simultaneously pair your phone to your watch and to your car. So you don't have to worry about reconnecting from one device to another. With Spotify available in the Watch App Store, you can use it in one of two ways. First, as a remote control to control music on your phone, an external speaker, or wireless headphones. Or second, you can stream or download music directly onto your watch and play music from its speaker. The audio quality is nothing to write home about, but I like that the feature exists. There's incredible versatility with more than 50,000 watch faces to choose from. Everything seen here was free. When you're not looking at the watch, the screen powers off, but turns on again when you're looking. It's pretty solid in detecting this wrist motion, but it's not totally flawless. If you're proud enough of your selected watch face, you can change the settings to make the watch face always on, which will burden the battery. Overall, I've really enjoyed my time with the Galaxy Watch since I got it. My conventional, non-smart watch has since been replaced, and this will continue as long as I remember to stay charged. Even for special occasions, I think it's stylish and sleek. It's satisfying to be able to snooze your phone alarm remotely, and it's both addicting and rewarding to track and progress towards your fitness goals. I don't really see a reason to keep this off my wrist, and I recommend it to anyone whose phone runs on Android OS. Thanks for watching!